I mean, like spring, they're not really hard to get. They're just kind of a, they're tedious. That's the thing with them. Everything's kind of just a bit tedious as opposed to like super hard to get. Interesting. I, yeah, it's not hard to get. It's just very tedious. Yeah. And the mushroom cloud disappeared. Really? Yep. Actually, it's gone. It's gone. Ah, damn it. Oh, so it Session is. switch. <laughs> um, I guess maybe. Um, damn, man, I was hoping we could keep that. Won't be long before I can launch one. How do you upgrade your Christmas stuff like that? How do you upgrade your what? Charisma and stuff like that. I couldn't hear you. What'd you say? Charisma. Stuff like that. How do you upgrade it? Yeah. Oh, you just gotta level charisma when you level up. Uh, I get the, the cards for it. I I've got some level 68s here, Dylan, by the way. You don't have what? Well, I don't get the cards whenever I level up, so I don't know where yes, you do. I'm supposed to find Yeah, you get them. Okay. You have to go to the, uh, uh, go to your Pip-Boy, hit T, and then they'll be listed at the bottom. Thank you. Yep. Sprinting and power armor consumes half as much fusion core energy. Huh. You no longer take rad damage from swimming and can breathe underwater. That's what I have, Aqua Boy. Yeah, that seems useful. Fireproof. Immediately gain plus 20 fire resistance. Radiation now regenerates your lost health. Okay. Yeah, you'll never die in a mushroom cloud. I'll take that. That seems great. Okay, well, I'm slightly disappointed the thing disappeared. That's right. Um, Let's leave. I mean, what else do we need to do around here? I still own Gorge Junkyard, and I've not been there in a little while, so let's head up that way and see what I can find. Mm -hmm. But I guess it was there for... two hours? So, I mean, I went live two hours ago. I recorded for five minutes before that. So, yeah, it's, it was there for about two hours. Which I suppose isn't bad. Let me know when you're there. I'm here. Got a little bit of stuff. I might go to Flatwood Vendor and see what what the pri <coughs> what the price is. Jesus, the throat. Because <clears throat> I mean, well, I only need thirteen more screws. It's the gears that bug me and the I springs. I do think that it's like one hundred and ninety. I might as well have a look. I'm heading there right now, I'll tell you. That screen tear. Yeah. That'll be because I can't change the FPS of the game. Or the F the F max frame rate or anything. I don't I don't actually know what it's running at, to be honest. Fifty nine point nine five, I think. Really? Well, I'm on a 144 hertz monitor, so yeah, there'll be there'll definitely be some tearing. 
Yeah, the but weapon I, of the turn. I mean, I can see it quite clearly myself, honestly. If the game's locked to 60, then... Yeah, not a lot I can do. Uh, junk. Bulk Springs, 144 for 10. I told you it's not good. <laughs> Bulk Gears, 147 for 10. Ouch. That is... Not worth it. No. Yeah, that really ain't worth it. That's rough. Um, I guess we go deal with Mr. Farmhand. Oh, yeah. Actually, I, I'm wondering... Yeah, I think it. I think it is... I wonder what the screen tear is actually caused by. Now that I think about it. Cause I think what the screen tear is, to be honest. I'm cap. My output is 60 FPS. If the game's locked at 60 FPS, I wonder. Like, I don't try to capture at 144. I don't know. I honestly don't know. It might be trying to output at 144, or it might be trying to lock it to 60 while. I, yeah, I'm. I'm not sure. The lead scrap. All right. Let's see, do these guys give anything useful? Steel? <laughs> Possible source of compost detected. Yeah, they're really. this isn't really a good spot to farm unless you need aluminum or steel really badly. Yeah. What about, uh, I wonder if Protectrons would have it, because there's lots of different types of robots and shit. Because there's a... Uh, there is a an event just outside Morgantown. Has um, that factory that you need? There's like, well, no, there is a factory outside Morgantown has um, protectrons in it. I think that you can fight. And yeah, we don't really need. Hmm. We don't really need steel anymore. Need steel. No. You might need to them for your guns, but I mean, that's about it, you know? I mean, it's adhesive I need right now for my guns. I have adhesive. I need a lot of it. How much? Like, as much as you can spare, really. I'll see what I have. Because, uh, like, three or four of my favorite weapons uh, that are actually pretty good are just fucked right now. Seven XP, nice. I wonder what that fifty percent extra XP thing would be. Uh, would be like if you were to manage to kill the uh, <laughs> Scorch Beast Queen. I don't know what kind of XP that gives when you get when uh, you help the kill on that. I've never actually seen it. Oh, thanks for that sweet picture, by the way. What? Thanks for that sweet uh, picture. Oh, one of your guys from yesterday? Yeah. I like the caption, how do I shoot this thing? It's pretty good. Yeah, pretty much. The 
Mama Dolce factory is filled with vegetable stock, protectrons, and liberators. Yeah, that's the place I'm thinking of. I don't know if they drop springs or shit, but they'd probably be better to fight than level 1 farmhands. There's a drop here, by the way. Yeah, I saw it. I didn't get much out of it. Shotgun shells, marksman's pump action shotgun. Is that any good? That's level 5. Um, why don't you come to the top of the world? What's there? A whole bunch of shit, honestly. I mean, I've got a mission up there. I need to follow Madigan's trail, but I need to go out to the uh, National Isolated Radio Array first. I'm kind of tempted to go to that factory. Vultures? Yeah, up in Morgantown, because it's got Protectrons there. <laughs> Say what? It's got a canned soup. Yeah. A canned stew, I mean. But I would wait for the event. Why not wait for the Mama Dolce's event? I suppose. How you doing? Oh, hey, how's it going, fella? The fuck is that? What? A gun. What's what? This? Yeah. It's an assault rifle. Alright. Why did you change your door? I didn't. It's always been white. Okay. Alright, let's... Let me get my well tuned. Hold on, let me get well tuned first. Oh, the Scorch Queen only appears when a nuke is dropped on a fissure site. Ah. That would make sense. Are you... I'm getting well tuned. Hmm. Go sit on your perch. Oh yeah, I like that it's been reinforced. Oh yeah, it's the reinforced perch. Yeah. Well, let's head up towards the top of the world, see what we can find. Yeah. It's verdant season in Savage Divide. Enjoy the abundance. Where? That just, mean, that just means that there's a lot more plants and shit now. Alright. Oh, we got Legendary Mole Miner Supervisor. There's a Legendary Colonel Gutsy 3 star up there. Be careful. Good lord. Careful, careful. You're getting I just found a Furious Revolutionary Sword. Damage increased after each consecutive hit on the same target. Okay. Okay. Oh. This isn't the legendary one. I know, but he's... Don't know, something is shooting at your base, but... Uh, yeah, it'll probably be something from, like, a little bit further south. You can go kill it. It's level five. You have no clue what's happening in the game, but when does the next nuke drop? Could be any time, really. Um, it's, it's player controlled. Oh, there's the legendary one. Oh wow, there's there's some damage in there. I survived. Maybe he took him off his perch, so I was trying to hit him. You're welcome. Look at me going in there to charge the enemy and you're like, Ee! My job is what I do, I'm a sniper. Oh look at me, I can shoot the guy from a distance. Yeah, the next nuke drop could be... I'd say it's unlikely to happen again on this server today. But if we were to server hop a little bit, there's a chance we'd maybe find it. But that's the first time I've seen it. I've put near 30 hours into this game. He's just staring at me. He's just angry at me. He just he healed. He just fucking... Yeah, he just... He just, uh, mute. He what? He mutated. He's a fucking robot! Legendary creatures can mutate and regain all their health. The nuke drops kind of once a day. 
Um, not even that. Like, it, it is completely player controlled, is the thing with it. So the players have to find the launch codes, uh, crack the codes, and then launch it. I think you just pissed him off. Back up, back up, back up. I won't do damage to me. Oh my god, he hurts. He's dead. Weightless robot left arm. Zealot combat armor left leg. It's level 50. I'd probably sell it. Mine is, uh... Level 60. Oh, my game's frozen up a little bit. Mine as well. Disconnected and we have disconnected. Too. Okay. Alright, well that's a good reason to switch sessions. I guess, yeah. Okay. Play with team, let's see. I mean, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll get into a kind of brand new server, see if we can get one that has uh, nothing claimed in it. Because I think we need to get the junkyards. I think, like, those, even though we don't get much from them, they're a nice little thing to have. Oh, fuck. I'm right outside the camp again. You do it if you really want to. Hold on. Uh, this is the same server, I think. No, it's different. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was what? I heard your TV. It's all good. Uh, oh, sorry. Alright. I don't think- Oh, I have my revolutionary sword. Alright. Um, I see your message about top of the world. Yeah. I regret everything. Oh. Oh, we're not on a team. <laughs> It's okay though, I watch your videos. <laughs> uh. Wait, we are not team. We're not. I can promote you to leader, what the fuck? Promote me, daddy. Oh yeah, it says we're on a team. Yeah, huh? it, says, it says we're on a team. Oh, can I like, leave the team? Yeah, leave team. And team, friends. Oh, I can't invite you to a team. I can't invite either of you to a team. Yeah, I'll invite you. Huh. It's just like, enjoy your session. I'm gonna join your session, Dylan. I'm gonna go ahead and join your session, buddy. I'll be right back. All right. I, for one, really appreciated my joke. Someone's asking what the story of Fallout is. Um, oh. That is a fucking loaded question. So that, it's basically, essentially, like, the short of it is, like, America was getting nuked. Or was it like about to be nuked or something like that? Or like the, the, it was not like the Cold War never ended or something. No, and the Cold War did end. It was China that ended up becoming the threat, though. It's Russia inevitably just yeah. failed. Well, whoever it was, so that something like basically America was there was like an incoming nuclear attack essentially. Um, and the decision was made to build these, like, impenetrable vaults that would lock people away for decades at a time. 
and uh, essentially the people would leave the vault when you know after after a super long amount of time. Like this, the so Vault Seventy Six opened after twenty five years. It is the uh, th this game is set before any of the other Fallout games. Uh, vault Seventy Six is one of the first vaults that opens. It's not the first, but it's one of them. Um, I think the first vault that opened might have actually been ninety four, or not the not the first, but I think ninety four opened like a year after, didn't it? There was one vault that actually never closed. It was part of the experiment. So the fun thing about the vaults was that there were some of them were set up as social experiments, yeah, and set up to fail in a way just to just to see what would happen. Yeah. My favorite one is probably Vault sixty nine. Uh, go on. You know what that one is? I do not. They filled the vault, I believe, with nine hundred ninety nine males and one female. Yikes. The Vault 68 was the opposite. 999 females and one male. Yikes. Oh, yeah. Well, that's... I think the most fucked up one, though, was... One of the vaults had... Uh, it was nothing but drug addicts. And basically, like, they put the guys that they were trying to get rehabilitated and stuff. But what they did was, was they hit a room filled with drugs. Huh. Just to see what would happen. So there were some ulterior motives to this. Yeah. I think it's worth keeping in mind as well. Uh, Fallout hasn't always been a Bethesda game. So a lot of the more fucked up stuff actually, as far as I'm aware, um, was, pro was like set in stone before Bethesda started developing it. I think. A lot of the darker shit, yeah. Yeah. Vault 94 opened early. Yeah, it was something like that. Um, I think I'm just going to store my weapons while they're broken. Now oh, my stash box is full for fuck's sake. I really can't wait for them to increase the stash box. I don't, I don't know, like 400 just isn't enough. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, fucking oh. hell. I'm getting sick, man. I'm not okay with it. The fuck are you wearing? Or not wearing? I'm not working anything. I'll fix that. Vault 101 was in Washington, and you believe it was supposed to house government officials? Vault 101. Vault 101 wasn't. No, vault, yeah, Vault 1 was in DC. Wasn't that? That was the one uh, from Fallout That's 3, wasn't it? That's Tunnel Snakes, yeah. Vault 76 was a control vault, no secret experiments or anything untoward. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what a vault should have been. Wasn't uh, the one in Fallout 4 was sort of an experiment one as well? It was like it wasn't it, was, uh, it. it wasn't a vault you live in. It was the cryogenic one. Cryogenically frozen, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of the a lot of the darker shit was kind of put into the lore before Bethesda uh, had anything to do with the franchise. So, uh, yeah, you'll probably not really hear or see much about here, Dylan. What uh -huh. gun? What gun? Here, just you can just have it. 
Where are you? I'm coming back yeah. to you. It's in a in a doggy bag out front. Mm. Yeah, you'll you'll not really see see or hear much about like the darker stuff of the franchise from Bethesda. I don't think. I mean, I might be wrong. You gotta get in uniform. Oh Jesus! Vampire's gamma gun. What the fuck is this? Don't shoot me with that, please. What the fuck does it do? It drains their health and gives it to you. Ah. You thought the vaults would have been huge and had a canteen and very large sleeping space? Uh, some of them did. In fact, a lot, I think a lot of them did. A lot of them were kind of, um... Like the one in Fallout 3 that you started in was like that. And I think the one in Fallout 76 is like that as well. Yeah, but they force you out. Yeah. They do, they eventually, like, they have limited supplies, which is, like... So, 76 had enough stuff and also had the room to grow crops and all that for 25 years. After 25 years, it all kind of starts shutting down and it forces you out. Because the idea is that eventually you are... Like you're not staying in there forever. The idea is that you are essentially going to retake America. Alright, ready? Yeah. VTU vault was a practice vault for training overseers. It was running when the bombs fell and they were sealed in. Hmm. Yeah, that's, uh, we explored, I think you and I explored that a while ago. Oh no, that was somebody else. I thought we were going up to the top of the world, yeah? Oh yeah. Oh, Jesus. You first. I mean, oh, Jesus. Ah, this seems nice and safe. Um, it might be worth, I mean, we could push out east, because I need to go out there to do some stuff for here anyway, and then come back here. Because then I can sort of kill two birds and one stone and do a bit of a quest here. Like, I need to go out to, uh, like, where yeah, the ski sword if you want it. National Isolated Radio Array. Oh, I will take that, actually. Is, any, is it better than my other one? Uh, it's exactly the same as my other one. Uh, let me, let me sort my favorites here. My favorites are a fucking mess. Can you take stuff out of your favorites circle? You can just replace it. Hmm. Go to your pit bull and just hit Q on it, or whatever the favorites option is. Yeah. Also, I'm here at the inter international radio. Oh, you're at it already? Yeah. Nice, no, perfect. Have I been in the excavator down south? Yeah. You're thinking all the vaults. You're thinking that all the vaults did that to protect everyone because you've never touched a Fallout game in your life, and you think uh, 76 might be the first one. 76 does have a lot of the Fallout lore still in here. Yeah, great timing. Um, it's just, it's in, in a lot of the other Fallout games, in Bethesda's Fallout games, and the Obsidian one, and New Vegas. Um, it, a lot of the lore is told to you through, you know, dialogue. In this one, it's all reading. Which I don't have a problem with, really. No, I, I, like I, I won't really do it. I'm not going to do it on stream or anything, but... Um, I do read a lot of it, like, off stream and shit. I need to drop some shit, man. Why am I over encumbered? It's cause, it's cause I'm carrying all my fucking broken weapons. Why don't you um, just craft what you don't use? Because I, I want to use them again. That's the thing. I want to use these broken weapons. They're really good. Well, actually, in saying that, this one isn't. It's alright. 
I suppose. Um, yeah, I got drop that. I wish I would have installed that mod. What, the one that shows you the components and things? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier. I just, I don't know if they're okay with mods yet. Because they said mod support is coming, but just after launch? They said 100%. They said there's 100% support coming for it. Yeah, that's what I mean. But I'm wondering, like, what's their stance on it right now? 